guys welcome back to ce box tutorial channel and this is our situation number 45 from ce board exam november 2021 for structural engineering and construction the design of a beam yields the following okay so given yung mga to as f prime c f y l okay for the longitudinal reinforcement f y b for the ano a uh, shear okay for shear reinforcement okay as prime then uh, ds or the diameter of the uh, stirrups h1 and h2 and b the 375 ah uh, yes of course the effective cover to the centroid of as 75 and the shear strength reduction factor na 0.75 so ilagay natin lahat yan so yung point uh, yung 75 millimeters is to, is, is ito ayan sabi naman niya sa sentro ng ano eh ng ating reinforcement. So, 75 millimeters. So, masasab na natin yung D. ba? Ang H1 kasi natin ay 110. Yan. Tapos, ang ating H2 ay 490 millimeters. Yan, para tipid space. So, masasab na natin ngayon ng D. 490 plus 110 then minus 75 so ang ating effective depth is 525 yeah tapos ano pa ba so given naman to no yan okay then as you can observe here we have additional ano diba stirrup so Kung bibilang nga rin yan, tatlo yung legs ng ating stirrups. Okay. So, number one, calculate the shear strength provided by the 12 mm diameter ties space at 100 mm center to center. Okay. So, VS ang pinapahanap or yung shear strength na ipoprovide ng ating stirrup. So, that is VS which is equivalent to area ng ano area ng bars natin na magsasalo ng ano uh, shear forces okay para sa stirrups yun then yung ating FYV then multiplied by the effective depth over the spacing of the stirrups given namin spacing given ng ating ano FYV meron tayong D then yung AP natin kukunin lang naman natin yung area ng tatlong legs di ba so, uh, AV is equivalent to 3 multiplied by pi over 4 multiplied by the diameter of the ties, which is 12 squared. Ah, uh, sorry, which is 12, okay? So, this is 3 fourths multiplied by 12 squared. So, 1 away pi millimeter squared. Spacing 100, no? Ayan. So, isahan na lang na. Huwag natin isulat. Okay. So, this is 108 pi multiplied by FYB. That is 275. Then, multiplied by D, 525 over spacing na 100 millimeters. So, masusab natin is uh, Newton. So, divide natin ng 1,000. Bakit naging Newton? Dahil sa FYB. Mega Pascal to, ba? So, this is Newton per millimeter squared. So, Newton na masasod natin. So, divide ng 1,000 para maging uh, kilo Newton. So, 489.85. So, 489.85 kilo Newton. So, number 2. Calculate the shear strength provided by the concrete. Okay? So, di ba meron tayong equation na Vn is equivalent to Vc plus Vs? Pero, mamaya pa naman natin magamit siya na. Okay? Kasi meron tayong equation para makuha natin yung ano, di ba? Uh, shear strength na ipoprovide ng mismong concrete. That is equivalent to 0.17 square root of F prime C multiplied by Bw multiplied by T. So, given naman yung ating ano eh. Bw Meron D. Okay. So, given lahat. So, makukuha natin ng VC. 
This is 0.70 multiplied by square root of f prime c third four. Multiplied by b. Ang b natin ilan? 375. Okay, multiplied by 375 multiplied by d in 525. Then, i-divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilonewton. So, this is 195.15. Kilonewton. Number three. The beam is to be redesigned for the shear force of 455 kilonewton using 10 millimeter diameter ties, space at 90 millimeter, center to center. How much is the required width? Okay, yung B of the beam. So based on our uh, solution in number two. Uh, saan ba natin ginamit yung B? Dito sa BC, di ba? Ayan, ito. So, ito ngayon yung unknown natin. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan nating masolve ang BC. And saan na makukuha ang BC? Mula rito sa equation na to. So, ang pinakataka ko lang is, ano tong ano, shear force na to? Na wala sa sinabi kung factored siya or um, as it is na lang siya na, ano, na loadings, okay? Or unfactored. Wala sa sinabi. So, Kasi kung unfactor dyan, ibig sabihin, ang ating uh, VU is equivalent to 455 kN, hindi ba? So, mangyayari nyan, kailangan natin makuha yung VN, okay? Na kung saan, ang ating VU should be less than or equivalent to V, VN. So, given naman yung ating shear deduction factor eh, na 0.75, isa pa, um, LRF dito, okay? Or ano pala, ah, uh, Tawag ito, SD, okay? Or strength design. Bakit? Kasi strength reduction factor ang given. Okay? Pero kung, ano, uh, factor of safety ang given, that is, ano, uh, ASD or WSD. Parang ganun. Okay? Pero since, ano tayo, uh, strength design, phi ang given. So, ngayon, i-assume natin na ang ating uh, VU is equivalent to phi, BN, or yung design. Okay, design is strength. So, makukuha natin ng BN. That is VU over P. Pero dito lang talaga hindi malinaw. Dapat naka, ano eh, naka note pa rin kung siya ay factored or unfactored. Kasi kung, kung unfactored siya, ang mangyayari kasi kailangan pa natin i-factor, no? Okay, yung 1.2 DL plus 1.6 LL. But anyway... Sa bagay, no? Kasi wala rin namang given na ano, DL na load and LL na load. So, ibig sabihin, itong for, uh, 455 is factored load na talaga. Okay? So, tama lang. Okay? Sige. Uh, VU, 455 over 0.75. 606.67. yan so, ngayon, uh, yung VS, solve naman natin yung VS kasi nagbago yung condition natin para sa ano eh, sa uh, sukat, okay, nung diameter ng ties and spacing niya. Okay. So, this is uh, tatlo, no? Ito. So, meron pa pa tayo kanina sa solution natin sa calculator. Tingnan natin. Ito. Ayan. So, this is 10. Ayan. So, 75 by then multiplied by FYB. At FYB is 275. Wala naman tayong binago sa ano, uh, effective depth, di ba? So, this is 525 pa rin over spacing. Ayan. So, ang spacing natin is ngayon 90 millimeters. So, 75 by multiplied by 275 multiplied by 525 over spacing. Then divided by 1000. So, 377.97 kilo newton. So, makukuha natin ngayon ang VC. Ang VC natin is equivalent to VN minus VS. Transpose lang natin ito, di ba? So, VN is 606.67. Then, uh, VS is 377.97. So, 228.7 kilo Newton. Okay. Then, ang VC natin is 0.17. Yan. So, makukuha natin ang B. B is equivalent to VC na 228.7. So, convert natin into Newton. Okay. Then, over 0.17. 
square root of 34, then multiplied by t na 525. So, masasolve natin ngayon dito is millimeters. So, 439.46 Ayan So, syempre, ito, width siya Sukat siya, eh, diba? So, siya yung sasalo Para sa, ano eh, sa uh, Mga forces So, ibig sabihin, hindi dapat tayo mag-round down Kundi, dapat mag-round up Tayo, okay? So, pwede naman yung 440 Pero kasi kapag in-actual Magbibigay tayo ng sukat sa worker. Okay, ang sukat nitong width na to is 440. Medyo mahihirapan pa sila. Diba? So, para mas maging safe, pinakamalapit siguro sa choices nito is yung 450 millimeters. Ayan. Okay? So, ilang beses ko na rin ano, ah, napapansin na lumalabas to sa, ano, sa mga seaboard exam yata. Okay? So, anyway, kung sakali man na labas talaga to, ayan, ito, nag-prepare ulit kami ng another problem para sa ganitong type of problem. Ma madali lang naman siya actually. Basta alam nyo lang yung mga equation na to. Yung para sa ano, sa strength. Okay? Ulitin lang natin. This Vs is the shear strength na ipoprovide ng ating uh, stirrups. Ang Vc naman is yung shear strength na ipoprovide ng ating concrete. And yung Vn is the nominal strength. Okay? So, possible na rin naman na itanong, what is the nominal strength of the, ano, of the uh, beam. Okay? So, ang isasolve natin yan ngayon dito is, since meron BS dito, no, 195.15. Then, yung ating BS, kung, okay, kung ang diameter natin ng ties is 12 millimeters at ang spacing natin ay 100, ang ating BS nyan is 489.85. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na nominal shear strength ng ating uh, beam. Ano to? 85. Ayan. So, 685. So, kapag tinanong is, what is the design shear strength of the beam? Ibig sabihin, ang pinapahanap doon is yung phi BN. So, multiply lang natin ng 0.75. Ito, natin, ito yung tatawag natin na effective eh. Okay, effective strength. So, 513 0.75 kN. So, kung ako man, okay, kung ako man yung examiner, mga gantong ano, tanungan yung gusto ko. Ayan, yung tinatanong yung design strength, okay, or kung allowable strength. Kaso, hindi ko, ano eh, hindi ko alam yung allowable uh, or yung ano, factor of safety in terms of, ano eh, shear. Kung 0.75 yan, meron kasi nga yun eh, relationship ng, ano, ng factor of safety and, ano, uh, fee. Nakalimutan ko lang. Uh, Asin ba mas malaki sa dalawa? Alam ko, mas malaki ito eh. So, ibig sabihin, alam ko ganito ata. Ayan, parang ganyan nata siya. Nakalimutan ko lang. So, kung ganyan siya, 2 over 0.75. Ah, masyado yata malaki ito. 2.66. Anyway, um, 1.67, no? Tapos yung isa, ah, uh, 0.7. Ah, yun! 1. Ano, 1.67. Alam ko, 1.67 yun eh. Ito. 1.67. But anyway, kung pinapasolve is allowable. Okay? Allowable shear strength. Ang pinapakuha dyan is yung nominal over factor of safety. Ito yung tatawag natin na allowable shear strength. Okay? So, ayan, nakalimutan pa rin namin. Meron pa lang ganito, mga equation. Okay, so, ano, uh, I think ibibigay rin naman to, yung mga equation to. Kasi napakarami, okay, yung provision na yan para sa shear strength. So, isa-isayin lang natin, okay? So, shear strength of a section, ayan. Ito siya sabi ko sa inyo, <laughs> na-memorize ko kasi, no? Ayan, yung VU is less than, is less than or equivalent to VBN, ayan. So, ito yun. Uh, shear strength. So, under siya sa, ano, strength design. Ayan. So, factor shear strength, nominal shear strength. Ito yung equation na pinaita ko sa inyo. Vn is equivalent to Vc plus Vs. Okay. And ito, dapat pala, yung ating ano, uh, Vs is hindi mag-exceed mag sa ating maximum. Okay, maximum to. So, malito ah. So, buray natin. Ayan. Kasi maximum to eh. So, dapat less than. 
less than siya. Hindi tayo dapat mag-exceed dyan. So, dapat chinek pala natin dito, no? Uh, sige, check natin. Hindi dapat mag-exceed ang VS natin sa 0.66. So, 0.66 square root of F prime C. Multiplied by BW, 375 multiplied by uh, D, 525, no? Then, divide natin ng 1,000. So, 757.66 ito. Ayan. So, less than naman tayo. Ayan. So, pasok tayo sa limits. Then, ito naman yung minimum. Eh, minimum AB to eh. Minimum area ng AB, no? So, anyway. Ayan. So, ito naman, uh, shear strength BC provided by normal weight concrete. Ito. So, under lang tayo rito sa for members subject to shear and flexure only. Ito naman kasi for members subject to actual compression. So, ano to? For compression members naman to. So, hanggang dito lang tayo. Kasi sa shear. O, sa shear natin sinecheck yung ating B. Hindi sa ano, actual compression. Okay? And ito naman yung detailed calculation. So, I think hindi naman natin kailangan pang masyadong tignan ito. So, as you can see here naman sa ano natin, di ba? Sa solution natin. Uh, madali lang din naman yung naging solution ng ating uh, situation number 45. Okay? So, ayan. So, Again, this is our situation number 45 from CE Board Exam, November 2021. And if you enjoyed and learned from this video tutorial, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!